Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this new course. So I'm going to make videos on this course, Foundation of Cloud IoT Edge ML. So this is week one assignment. So many are requesting to do this course. So I'm doing this. So guys, please watch the video till the end, and also please share this video to many of your friends who are requirement for this solution of the course. So guys please watch full video because if you skip you may miss some content or if I change any solution or modify it you, you may not be able to note that so do watch till the end. So this is week 1 assignment of cloud IoT edge ML course so let's see the first question. Which one is not true for current state of today's cloud? So for first question the correct answer is third third option network stack is non programmable actually here they should give is but they are mistakenly they have given n so whatever it is the not true for current state of today's cloud because network stack is programmable but they give non programmable so let's see the second question because of data privacy concern Customers are not willing to send their data to the cloud. So guys, uh, here the customers are not willing to send their data to the cloud. It is correct. It may or may not be involving data privacy because there are many reasons for the customers not willing to send their data. So it is one of the reason. So I think answer is true. There are many reasons generally for customers to not willing to send their data to the cloud. One of the reasons could be data privacy concern. So I agree with this statement. So I am marking this as true. In industrial IoT scenarios, which are of the following are most important? So for third question, the correct answer, both of them. That is third option. Guys, these are the most probable answers. Uh, if you want to suge uh, suggest me any changes for this solution, you can please ask me in the comment section. And before this submission, once again, uh, check the video comment section if I updated any solution. So let's see the fourth question. Following are the important issues of current cloud scenario. So low latency issue, bandwidth issue for real time applications, connective issue, connectivity issue. So I think uh, the correct answer for fourth question is all of the above. That is fourth option. And moving on to the fifth question of the assignment. For compute on edge, there is a shift from VMs to containers. So for this, I think the statement is false because uh, the statement that there is a shift from VMs to co containers, the statement implies to IoT, but they given for edge. So I think it is false statement. Moving on to the sixth question. Edge computing has the capabilities to mimic the cloud. So for this, the correct answer is first option true. And moving on to the seventh question. Which of the following is or are provided by IoT Pass? So guys, I think here they have given mistake. It should be PASS, but they give PAAS, so there is a lot of difference between those two. So, they are asking, uh, what are the functions, I mean, what are the uh, advantages or what are the use of this IoT Pass, what it provides. So, IoT Pass provides device management and also these two options stream analytics serverless functions so 
so the all three are correct so the answer is fourth option all of the above and moving on to the eighth question which of the following is or are the important building blocks of edge computing so i'll zoom this one once one time so important building blocks of edge co edge computing so actually the data ingestion m to m broker and object storage all these three are correct so the correct answer is correct option is all of the above so mark option d as correct answer for eighth question and moving on to the ninth question dash data is a quantitative data and uh, in the form of number and values and dash data is a qualitative data in the form of text files audio files and video files so we know that uh, the structured data is the quantitative data so the answer for first blank will be structured and the other will be unstructured so the answer for ninth question is first option moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th question in edge computing architecture which layer takes care the responsibility that the training takes place on the cloud and the inferencing is run on the edge actually there are uh, three three tier three layers so which layer performs the responsibility of training training that on the cloud and inferencing on the edge so the answer for 10th question is second option intelligent layer so mark option b as correct answer for 10th question so friends these are the solutions for week 1 assignment hope this video is helpful for you if you want to uh, suggest me any changes you can do that in the comment section as these are my probable answers i hope most of the solutions are correct only and if the video is helpful for you please keep, please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends keep supporting us so for further more videos like this keep supporting us until then it's goodbye thank